Well, it's a beautiful, sunny Friday afternoon. Humidity's low and our forward stuff is ready to go. All right, well, got word from uh, the neighbor that does our chopping for us. They're hoping to be chopping by two o'clock. We've been spending the last number of days as much as we can drying this area out. And we've got it actually looking really nice. We could barely, in a lot of these areas, we could barely drive. It was so, uh, we could barely drive, it was so muddy. We've been harrowing it with the quad and harrows, land leveling it, moving dirt around, packing it, spending quite a bit of time just trying to dry it out, mowed back there, cleaned everything right up, and uh, we are getting somewhere. It is starting to dry up back here, and things are looking a lot better. So we're not sure where they're gonna be able to do the whole field today. The thinner area is dry, it's good to go, and we're hoping by the time we're done that, We'll be able to carry right on into the thick stuff. We're gonna do the packing this year. We, uh, we're gonna run with our two Massey front end loaders and if we can't keep up or we wanna do more packing, I think we're gonna use our big Massey, the 8690. So I'll put the big pusher on the 7715 here, the loader on the 6465 over there. It's running good. We had to get a new fuel pump on it. It's running a lot better now. fall behind in packing because we aren't experienced silos packers. Uh, I'm afraid we will have a hard time catching up, but we have the tractors and I think we have the manpower, so we'll see how this goes. truck here so they are rolling now it's a matter of keeping up with them
Massey. We're not very, uh, we're not veterans when it comes to pet making piles, so uh, we need to get, as we like the piles tight, and uh, yeah, we're not, uh, like I said, we're not experienced with it, so um, yeah, we're, we have, <laughs> we got three tractors going because, uh, well, we want the piles done as, uh, make the piles as tight as possible, and uh, whatever. Yeah, we're not as quick as that. Quick as it as we would like to be. So we're getting this pile uh, licked up. It sounds like we're almost done, which is a little hard to believe because I thought we'd have a little bit more than uh, what we've got. But yeah, it is what it is. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how this works out for us. We'll uh, we'll see how many loads we end up with. So. That's load number nine, and number ten is just pulling into the yard. So I got I got the shape down really nice. Um, at least we're very happy with the shape. Now it's a matter of just going lengthwise and just keep packing it. So. Well, that was rather disappointing. Uh, definitely thought that field would do a lot better. It did a little bit better than last year, but not a whole lot. We're also thinking though, that this is way heavier and the feed is, uh, last year the crop, uh, it was very, very dry. This year we're sitting in between 30 and 40% moisture, right where we want to be. Um, I think the last load was actually pretty wet but the other loads were all actually in that 35-ish to 40. So the feed I think is gonna be good. It packed really good. So we're gonna measure it. We're gonna measure it off so we can go get tarp and find out how much salt we need. We put salt in the pile and then we tarp it. So, so the truck made it to the top of the pile so I guess it's packed enough. Generally, we don't do this test, but. I can just go straight off the edge, right? Yep. I go off the edge, yep. Okay, do you want to put gallon or any dirt? No. You want dirt there? No, you put, put yeah. Yeah, we put a couple things of dirt on. Now he's having some place. Yep, I would agree. The issue with it is because of the wind. You gotta keep this side down. Still gotta keep the okay. We've got the tarp started. We're gonna put dirt on it and get it so that the wind's coming from the there's a bit of a breeze from the west, so we're gonna put dirt on this side right here. And then we'll uh, we'll pull it over to the other side. Get the tarp put on.
All right, we got our forage all tarped. It's not 100% tight yet. Mosquitoes are just horrendous out here. Um, but we got it pretty much all the dirt on. I got the other side a little bit more to do. But uh, yeah, so we got the forage in. That field's all nicely cleaned up. Thanks to Halarda for uh, coming in and chopping it. It's always nice to work with neighbors and it works out, uh, works out good like that. Um, we're thinking we got, we got 11 loads. They were all pretty full. Not sure exactly the tonnage, but we're thinking that, I think it was three to four, probably pushing four ton an acre, a little less than what we were hoping for. It's more than we had last year. And last year the cows really liked it. So it was good for, um, for lactating and high protein. So anyway, yeah, glad that's done. That's a wrap, it's Friday. We'll see what we do for work tomorrow in the shop. But uh, like I said, salad is done. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for taking the time to watch.